As many of you will know who've been watching this channel for a little while, I have recently been experimenting with the Secor 50mm 4.5 lens. So this lens is roughly equivalent to a 28mm lens on a 35mm sensor. And when it comes to focal lengths on 35mm sensors, for portrait photography, the widest focal length that I would personally usually use is a 35mm focal length. For me, that's something that comes naturally to me after years of practice with it, after years of the Sigma 35mm 1.4 lens being my go-to lens when shooting on digital. And so working with a focal length that is closer to 28mm has been somewhat of a learning curve. You might remember the struggles that I had initially had using the 50mm lens from my shoot in the studio with Ethan. So since then I've tested the lens in various kind of forms of portraits, different shoots. Uh, you might remember I did use it on the shoot with Ryan earlier on this year. But in today's video we're going to be looking at a couple of photos taken with the Secor 50mm 4.5 lens from my shoot with Curtis. And you might remember Curtis from this channel from this or maybe even this. So in my head, the 50mm feels like the perfect lens for environmental portraiture. I'm yet to try anything too close up with it, like too close to a model's face, because I just feel like the distortion, it wouldn't be that flattering on someone's face. But when it comes to environmental portraiture, you know, wider shots, mid shots, I think it's a great lens to really appreciate the environment or the location. So for these shots, I basically stuck to mid shots and wide shots. One of the bonuses of using a wide lens for environmental portraiture is of course, it captures more of the scene. And this was quite important in this shoot in particular because the light on this day was hitting a building behind Curtis quite high up. And when I was shooting with the 110 millimeter, put those on screen, it couldn't really capture the nice lighting patterns that were on the building. Whereas with the 50 millimeter, it was easily incorporating those wider bits of the scene. So here is a photo that was shot on film using the 50 millimeter lens in question versus a digital photo shot using a 28 to 70 millimeter lens at a 28 millimeter focal length. And this is a good example of how the 50 millimeter lens works as a rough equivalent to a 28 millimeter focal length on a 35 millimeter sensor. One thing I'm yet to master with this lens, especially since I shoot most of my portraits handheld, is the focusing. Being used to the 110 millimeter lens, I've gotten a lot of practice shooting through the waist level viewfinder on an image that is much closer up. But since the 50 millimeter is so much wider, I find it more difficult to really nail the focus and make sure that my subject is tack sharp. But that being said, since when you're shooting on this lens wide open, that gives you an aperture of 4.5, it's not as obvious when you miss focus as if you were shooting wide open with the 110 millimeter lens at 2.8, as that depth of field isn't as great. I find working with different lenses in different focal lengths a big adjustment within my practice, regardless of whether or not I'm shooting on film or I'm shooting on digital. Lenses, focal lengths, they begin to feel as though they're an extension of yourself, of your, your own eye and your vision after you know a while of using them once you've kind of grown used to them. And to kind of change the way that you're viewing the world or the scene or the photos that you're trying to capture is definitely something that takes getting used to. I'm definitely not creating my best images with this lens yet, but I believe that after some practice and after I get used to viewing the world through this focal length, once I master the focusing, and once I start beginning to feel as though this lens is an extension of my vision, I'll really enjoy using the 50 millimeter lens. It definitely gives me more options to have this wide lens in my arsenal so that I can kind of have that combination of close-ups with the 110 and wide angle shots with the 50. So I'm really looking forward to kind of experimenting with concepts, experimenting in the studio with this lens, maybe putting it on a tripod will help me with the focusing situation. But let me know if you've got experience with this lens in particular, how do you find it? I would love to see examples, especially portrait examples using this lens. I've also shot this lens on some street work, which I'm gonna be sharing soon. Um, so far, I do prefer it with street work. It feels a little bit more natural um, than with portrait. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I'm looking forward to sharing my progress with this lens and I hope you stay tuned to find out what goes on. Thank you.